I apologize for the terrible way that I made you say goodbye. I think you'll agree that this is best. I told Wendy a small fib that I'd never heard of you before today. Actually, there's a legend about you, Mr. Manx Mouse. What legend? As much as I like you, I couldn't bear for Wendy to be hurt. The legend goes that Manx Mouse will be eaten by the Manx Cat. <gasps> eaten by Manx Cat? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, and I hope for your sake the legend is false. Take care of yourself, Manx Mouse, and watch out for Manx Cat. So long, my little friend. I wish you all the best. Be careful, goodbye, and good luck. <laughs> Wendy, please, my child, no more tears. Come along now. I'll walk you home. Come along. There, there. A week had come and gone. Manx Mouse would always remember Wendy, her kindness, and the beautiful name which she gave him. There was something else he wouldn't forget. The legend that the teacher told him, that he was to be eaten by Manx Cat. He had no way of knowing who or where this Manx Cat was, and for the first time in his life, Manx Mouse experienced fear. He hitched a ride on a truck, and there found some cookies to eat. Accident. Look, we have to check out your truck. Exactly what kind of an accident, officer? A wild tiger has escaped from ah, the circus. A tiger? That's right. The tiger could be anywhere at all, so if you leave your vehicle, please be very careful. You mean there's a tiger loose and he could be anywhere? We'll find him. Don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of, really, as long as you stay inside your vehicle. Hey, you must have mice in this truck. Some of your cookies are eaten. Mice in my truck? There better not be. Please, no, don't shoot him. Please, no. He's like part of my family. They can't do this. Please, don't let them shoot him. No, calm down, Frank. We haven't killed anything. It's just a precaution. That tiger never hurt anyone. I'd risk my reputation on it. Don't hurt it. Please, you must listen to me. You must. Now, hold on. Your reputation doesn't mean a hill of beans. You let that tiger get away, and you're responsible. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Khan, why did you leave? You were the best tiger I ever trained. I did everything for you. <laughs> I made sure you had the finest foods. I gave you the best. Oh, Khan, oh, Khan, where have you gone to? Um, excuse me, Mr. Trainer. I was sorry to hear the news about you losing your Tiger Khan. What? Who are you? Uh, me? Let me introduce myself. My name's Mr. Petten, and I'm an animal dealer from London. Uh, allow me to give you my business card. Here, you keep this. Actually, I heard about your Tiger Khan on the radio this morning, and I thought, what a coincidence. I also have this beautiful pedigree tiger in my shop in London. He's really quite a specimen, and I uh, thought if your Tiger Khan is never found or destroyed by these men, you'll need another one, don't you think so? Well, anyway, you slice it, my friend. I figure you're going to need another tiger, and I could get you a good deal on one. <laughs> now, now, my friend, it's just an animal. You lose one, and you go out and replace them. As easy as that. I can get you a very good deal on a new tiger. My terms are very reasonable. That's enough! I've had it! I'll get <laughs> you, you lousy <laughs> scavenger, if it's the last thing I do! Khan isn't just an crazy? animal, he's <laughs> my best friend! I'll <laughs> get <laughs> you, you <laughs> flesh peddler! Sergeant Major! Sergeant Major! I found a strange scent! Where? Where is it? Here it is, sir. <laughs> this is a strange smell. Should we report hmm? this, sir? I know what this strange scent is. What, sir? This is unquestionably the smell of a mouse. Are you sure, sir? I mean, that it's not the tiger? 
Don't you think I know the difference between a mouse and a tiger, you bumbling idiot? Yes, sir. And don't call me again to smell some mouse traps. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. <sighs> noise over there. Yes, sir. Well, you go over there and check it out right this minute. Yes, sir. All right, any one of you guys want to go over there? No, I want you to go, you idiot. Yes, sir. Now look what you've gone and done. They're coming over here. What do I do? Uh -oh. Do I really have to go in this water? Get in there now. I'm going, I'm going, all right. Oh, I really hate doing this. Well, I guess I have no choice. All right, here we go. Meow! 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 Great, do it one more time. Meow! Cat? <laughs> A kitty cat. <laughs> Sergeant Major! Sergeant Major! There's nothing there but a pussy cat. All right, hounds, we'll look farther upstream. Line up and move out. Now. Yes, sir. <sighs> they finally gone. Thanks, your pussy cat scheme worked. <laughs> they all went away. Why are you so unhappy, huh, Mr. Tiger? I did a silly thing. I was living in the circus and I was happy, but one night my cage was open, so I thought I'd go for a little walk. And when they realized I was missing, they sent a bunch of men out after me, and I was afraid because they had guns and they might shoot me, so I can't go back, and it really made me feel kind of stupid. Is that the reason they're looking for you, Mr. Tiger? That's the reason they're looking for me with guns! <laughs> And as long as they're out here, I can never go home. I'll never be able to see my trainer again. He was the best trainer in the whole world. <laughs> and I want to tell you, what can I do? I can't go back. I can't stay here. I can't go back. I can't stay here. What is a tiger to do? <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> come on. Don't despair. Don't give up so easily. There's a solution to every problem. So come on now. Cheer up. You've got to stop crying now, Mr. Tiger. You've got to smile, even though your heart is breaking. Every cloud has a silver lining. Be brave, my friend. If we stay here, nothing's going to happen, right? You're Dog? right. I can't just be a blubbering bangle. You're pretty smart for a little fella. 